and because of the consistency right of the the wax or the gel this the water-based wax look at that just all right you can just come in and just blend that all day that is nice that's really nice Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Is It Worth It? where I go around the world and the internet looking for art supplies to make your job just a little bit easier or for you to enjoy the craft just this much more. And today we are traveling all the way to Marshalls, <laughs> Marshalls and TJ Maxx, and we're going to pick up some very interesting art supplies and I have absolutely no idea what it actually is so that's why I'm very intrigued to try it and it is from our good friends King Art right we, we really do enjoy King Art's art supplies so I'm very eager to find out what in the world this is but these are King Art's artist mixed media gel sticks so I have absolutely no idea what that actually means but I'm very, very interested in what it could be because like I said before, King Art is a company that we have been surprised by time and time again with their art supplies that you generally can only find in like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And so, yeah, why don't we go check these out and uh, see if they're actually worth it. Come on, let's go check them out. All right, so as you can see, just, you know, box packaging with some plastic to keep it secure. It gives us a nice image of, hey, here's what you're gonna get. Uh, it says 24 comfort grip gel sticks, soft buttery texture, rich vibrant colors, odorless and non-toxic storage case is included. Um, so it gives you a bunch of colors and uh, as you can see, $14.99. $14.99 for the box and 24 gel sticks vibrant color gel sticks glide easily over <coughs> excuse me canvas paper wood glass and more our mixed media gel sticks are made for made of water soluble wax with a soft buttery texture the rich colors blend smoothly and easily are light fast odorless and non-toxic and transparent work wet or dry to produce stunning results. They are the perfect complement to any mixed media project, hassle-free setup and mess-free cleanup. Storage case are included to keep sticks organized. All right, well, let's find out what this thing actually is. So we got these two. All right, it's got a nice little case to it. Right, there you go. Interesting. All right. Okay, these are nice. I mean, it's got a nice, it's got a nice feel to it. These are small, right? So if you have big hands like me, this is this might be a little bit of an issue. I mean, they are a little bit small, but it's got this nice little textured spot for your thumb and your finger, right? And so, so that you can actually draw with it and work around with it. Ugh. All right, so the cap, cap's got a nice snap to it. Very nice. Okay, get post, po oh. Okay. So the post is pretty light, but it's secure. Right, like as soon as you grab it, it comes right off, right? But it's it won't move, so that's good. Um, okay, so you can rotate it. All right, I was wondering about that. So, right, you can rotate it to give you more of the gel stick, and then it rotates back down too. So even if you were to rotate it too far, it would still, you know, you could still get it back down. So that's nice. All right, so once again, Crystal board, smooth, just regular. I know it said mixed media. Right, we're gonna we're gonna try it with this. <clears throat> Let's see. We're gonna try this green. Ooh. 
Oh wow. I mean, it uh, it flows. It's like woo. But I mean, it. So it's like a giant crayon. Oh. But I do I do completely understand what they mean when they say it's got a buttery texture, like going over the paper. Like once you get a pea, some of the gel down and then you go over it again to, to fill it in, it's got such a, I mean, it just glides right over. So that's kind of cool. I wonder, you know, so we got this, but I wonder how it's gonna work. Like, how does it interact with each other? All right, so you got that and that's nice, very nice. Oh, they blend, oh my goodness, they blend so nice. Wow, so you can just super blend these. So that's really cool. And you can keep coming, apparently you just keep coming back and go over it and then it gives you that, look at that, you can just blend that all day long. That's nice. That's really nice. So I mean, these things are, I mean, like I said, it's like a giant crayon. So, right, as you can see, it's very vibrant, but I mean, the, just the feel of how this goes on the paper is so nice, right? And I do completely understand that whole idea of it being buttery, right? Like it's just, it just goes right on top of it. Really, really nice. I wonder if you can smear it. You can smear it a little bit. Oh, okay. So you can even get a, a little bit of extra texture going on, you know? So you can come in and then just smear that out. So, I mean, so that's kind of interesting, right? If you have something over here, you can actually just smear it out. That's kind of cool. It's a nice effect that you can get. All right, so, so that's cool. Um, I mean, it. You get some nice. You can still look at that. Look at how thin that gets, right? And it's just this fat marker. You just have it on the side, and it just really nicely goes down. And then once you're ready to fill in the space, you just. Whoosh, there you go, and that's it. Bam, this is done. All right, I think we got some silver here, or gray. And because of the, because of what it is, right? Like how it, it, the wax is so soft. Because of the wax is so soft, you can get like really large area. Look at that, just super far. Like that's really cool. So I mean these and the colors are super vibrant. Hey, look at that blue, jeez. Look at that. Is that smear too? Yo. See, so you can get a nice little effect going and then you just go over the same spot over again and you just pull it back out. I do like that. I like that. That's pretty cool. Alright, so that's that oh, I wonder how the white will interact. Let's see. If we have the white. So, I mean, it does lay right on top, but it, I mean, look at that. You can just mix it in and really make a really like a different thing altogether. All right, so you can, you can make gray out of black and stuff like that. So it's rather interesting, but I'm pretty sure that the white would work better if it was on a darker surface. I'm just trying out these colors now because I mean, ooh, man, look at that. So vibrant, so easy to go down. Like I remember using crayons and 
pastels and oils and stuff like that. And it's just so smooth. I mean, it go and it covers. Like, look at how nice that yellow is. Just went straight down. It's so nice. And then if we let's see if we can come in with this yellow. Right, so you can tell. Right, you can just come in and look at, oh man, look at that blend, oh. Right, and then you just come back in over here to kind of solidify the transition. just a nice oh there's this I have orange actually has a lot so we could right, and get this all nice and good and then have that transition up there too and because of the consistency right of the the wax or the gel this the water-based wax look at that just all right, you can just come in and just blend that all day. That is nice. That's really nice. Oh, well, you gotta watch it on your fingers, right? Like I touched a green somewhere, and it, it definitely stays on your finger until you actually get move it, remove it, like on the paper. All right, but like. Just down here. Kind of wipe it away. Such a nice transition. You can just put down a little bit more and then bam. Right? And just keep going. That's that's really nice. It, and the the amount of colors, I mean in these 24, they have the colors you need just to just to ensure that you can do some nice blending. But I mean, just so vibrant, so very vibrant. So malleable, very, very nice. I wonder if I have. I don't think I do have. Oh, I do have one more. Yes. All right. It said that you could use some water, so I'm very interested in trying that. So let's play with this over here. Oh, look at that. So you can pull that off. Right, and you can actually manipulate some of the some of the, the color so that it will come off. Right, it doesn't doesn't necessarily kind of like you can see that it, it doesn't it hasn't taken away from the 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 actual drawing, but I wonder I wonder if because I had already smeared that in if that's what's affecting it. So let's try it with just putting the marker down or the gel pen down and then seeing if we can't get something. Yeah, see if you get it before, like, cause I smeared all, I smeared all of them in, right? But if you get it beforehand, like if you don't smear it in, you can actually come in and you can really spread that out. Now, the thing that I've realized in doing that, because once you do put it in the paper, right, it, it does stick. So when you're pulling the color off, you don't want to constantly go over the one side because once you pull the ink off, or once you pull the gel off, it's going to be Right, like it, it, th as you can see, this part is still here, right? But we have the ability to come in and have this nice color that we got from it. So you could actually come in and kind of do some 
almost watery, waterish colors with it. Right, so that's really cool. I think that if, as long as you have, right, like an established boundary, where like this is the end and this is how we're gonna trans uh, translate back and forth, this could be really fun. Right, so you could get a nice watercolor. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I have two different colors on here. So I've soaked up two different colors and they were both coming out at the same time, which was cool. But yeah, these are, these are fun. These are really fun. So we just got done reviewing these King Art Artist Mixed Media Gel Sticks and Wow. So I'm, I am not a pastel or oil pastel or Conti crayon kind of artist, but I have played around with those things before. And I have to say that these are so much more fun. <laughs> like the fact that they, they just go down so smooth. It's so nice. And I'm like, wow, this, it's just, the texture, the, the way that it moves on the paper is just like no other experience I've had when it comes to something of a similar product and something that has cost way, way more money. Like this was $14.99, a pack of 24, and it was fantastic. Colors were vibrant. The, the coverage was amazing. The versatility, the fact that you could actually put it down and then smear it right and you can make nice blends or you could use some water to pull some of the color and make more of a watercolor effect after it you know you had a, a boundary it was absolutely fantastic i highly recommend trying these out these are absolutely worth it because they're just so fun to play with and the possibilities that you could have with working with these i think are almost endless like you can do so much with these King Art Artist Mixed Media Gel Sticks, water-based, these are fantastic. Go to Michael's, or not Michael's, go to Marshall's, go to TJ Maxx and pick you up one of these packs because they are absolutely fantastic. And if that is something that you do, if you're like a pastel or Conti crayon type of artist, you should do yourself a favor and actually try these out. These are absolutely worth it. They are fantastic. Well, that wraps up today's episode of Is It Worth It? I hope that you learned something or just got a little information that'll make you a little bit of, a little bit intrigued on what a new product could be. If you have any suggestions for products or art supplies that you think that I should be testing, please go ahead and drop it in the comments below and I will add it to the list. If you are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you can get notified every single time that I, I produce new content. <laughs> I want to say thank you guys so very much and I will see you at the next episode.